Hello friends, it's Cindy here with a Copic coloring tutorial for you today. Now I'm no expert at these by any means, but um, I have played quite a bit and um, I thought I would show you how I color with them. So I'm going to start with an uh, image I've already stamped uh, using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink, which is perfect for coloring with your Copics. I'm stamping on Flourish's classic white cardstock, which is brand new and incredible for the Copics. Um, and the image is from the Nasturtium stamp set from Flourish's also. Just a gorgeous floral set. I'm starting with the lightest color in the Tiger Lily collection. This is YR01, also known as Peach Puff, uh, which I think is cute. Um, I'm going to color my flower in fully with this color. This is a sketch marker. I prefer the sketch markers. Uh, they, they're nice and flat so they don't roll off the table which is great and they also hold quite a bit of ink so you can go for a long time with them. I'm going to color this image in all the way with this one. This part is the part where you get to just be back in kindergarten coloring in your coloring book staying inside the lines <laughs> hopefully actually I still color in coloring books with my kids so little secret there okay so I colored the whole thing with that color then I'm gonna go to the next color in the collection which is YR04 these collections are awesome for beginners if you don't have any Copics or you're just getting into it um, these are fantastic because they give you all the shades that you need within a color family um, to get beautiful shading. So now I'm going to go back over it with that original light color again. And that will just blend the two together. See that? Made the lines all go away. And then I'm going to go to my next darker color and add some shadows there. And I'm going to even do a little bit along the top edges of some of my petals. Okay, all my petals. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to get those all colored up real nicely. And then I'm going to once again come back with my lighter color and blend. The lighter color actually removes a little bit of that darker ink and just blends it all in together and you don't have to worry about getting ink on your lighter markers because that's what Copics are made to do you can even take your lightest marker and this is the darkest one YR09 and I'm going to use the um, chisel tip of that one and take color off the tip with my lighter color right onto the marker here and then color and get some more dark shading there just to show you how you can shade with with your tip but you do have to remember to get the uh, remaining color off of there so that all you have left is your original color so you can do that that's great especially if you only have two shades <clears throat> in one color family you have the darkest and the lightest then you can make the shades in between by blending them together like that so I want my flower to be very vibrant in the center so I'm gonna go directly on my paper with that dark color and even just add a little bit of highlighting on my flower and that's good and then I like to keep putting my covers back on because otherwise they roll away or disappear and I put them on the wrong marker anyway okay so there's a little bit of shading for you now in the middle of this flower I'm using from the daffodil collection the Y13 um, just to make it pop and then the Y15 will give it a little bit of a shadow on one side okay so now I'm gonna go to I'll do one of these leaves. Um, they have the coolest leaves, don't they? I knew nothing about nasturtiums until Flourishes came out with the stamp set um, and I had to Google it to find out what on earth they look like. 
uh, and discovered that I have seen them before. We might even have some in the yard, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but they are a beautiful flower. They come in reds and oranges and yellows and just really pretty. This color that I'm using right now is YG91 and it comes from the Evergreen collection. It's the lightest of four shades of green. This one's actually called Putty. And then YG93. And I'm going to take this and create a shadow on one side of my leaf. And you don't have to be very neat about it because you're going to blend it. And I like to do just a slight shadow on the opposite side as well. And then I'm going to go ahead, since I'm working on a fairly small section, I can get more than one color done at a time here. And this is YG95, which is pale olive. And then the last one is YG99, which I just do on the very edge there, just for that darkest shadow area. And then I'm going to go back with my putty YG91 and blend those colors together and you'll see that it, it gets real dark but it lightens as it dries. Copics are always darker when they're wet. So there's some nice shading and you can keep on blending until you're comfortable with that. And then I like to go back in and do highlight the center and those leaf veins and then sometimes I will go back and just add more color if I think it needs more. These are great because you can go over and over and over again and in fact when you flip it over you'll see nice fully saturated paper that means you've blended enough you've done a nice job. So that's the example I'm not going to color the whole thing for you because I have the finished sample right here. Um, I used all those same colors, same images, and then just put it together on a card, which I will also have on my blog today. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and have a great day. See you later.